What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing Freeze Pirates with Hugh Giganticus. We've done some decks like this where you teleport in instead, uh, but it really wasn't a proper pirate deck. I think making this a really good pirate deck will actually unlock uh, the full potential of Unthought Viking. It is a 4 cost 4-4 four, four pirate, so it will get strike through from your flame phase, uh, and it will get buffed by your swashbuckler if you have that on the field when it hits phase. Uh, the idea is to play a regular pirate deck. You have Headstone Carver on one. You can also play the Iron Border, Terraformer. Really, all these work on one except for Ice Moon. You can even set up Teleportation Station in order to play your turn to Ice Pirate into it. Uh, that will free something, make a good trade. You were running uh, three Ice Pirates, two Monkey Smugglers aside in the end, and of course four Swashbucklers. The Headstone Carver will be buffing all of your Gravestones every single time something pops. Um, out of a grave. You have a lot of graves in this deck. The flame face makes all your pirates go strike through. I'm running, in addition to that, a couple of excavator zombies as an additional three. Uh, it is a gravestone, so it'll be a 5-2 <laughs> if it gets buffed by headstone carver. It's also going to be very useful, um, sort of in the mid to late game for popping Ice Moon off the board. It'll then, you know, clear them, and then you can actually play Ice Moon again that turn for one, freeze everything. Uh, that's going to be very good in general, especially when it comes to your Cryo Yeti. Now, this deck is going to end up being like an OTK Cryo Yeti, so you set up your pirates. Sometimes the pirates will be enough to win. Uh, Flame Face and Swashbuckler can take over a game uh, if they if they are uncontested, but the Cryo Yeti will not, is not only a very good tempo card, playing this, it pops out of the Gravestone, freezes something, you kind of get a good trade for free it ends up with five six stats a very high stat card uh the idea is that after you've set this up you want to either place it into the ice moon environment giving it strike through or laser base alpha which is a very good card with yeti it activates that five damage make sure it's going phase and that afterwards let's say on turns like seven or eight uh, you want to teleport Unthawed Viking onto one of your pirates, and that will make the Cryo Yeti just go insane. I mean, this thing will grow. They have four minions on the field. This thing grows by 8-8, eight, eight, and if it has strike through, all that damage, of course, is going face. Uh, you're going to have plenty of little pirate targets to place the Unthawed Viking on in this deck. We're running lots of, It's a good idea to be running like a lot of extra like little twos um, just to be able to uh, make sure you have a target for the Unthawed Viking. Uh, Pogo is going to bounce into a good tempo card. It'll be a 3 3 with a headstone carver and it'll make your pirates go face. This can also end up clearing a lane after you've played your, uh, your Yeti in order to clear lane from that. Make sure it goes face. That's another combo. And uh, I really like with you, Giganticus, to run the Brainy Pirate, which is Shield Crusher Viking. If this has Strike Through, um, then this will be really, really good at a 7 Bullseye to face, face and empties their block meter. I mean, hitting them one time with a Shield Crusher Viking will usually just end up, they're going to be so low in health and blocks that you're just going to be able to win the game, especially in this deck that's very high damage. Uh, it really also justifies the Teleport. Like, Teleport doesn't have a lot of targets in a Gravestone deck, since usually teleporting in Gravestones, they're not really active until next turn, but you have the four Teleports because you definitely need them for the Unthawed Viking, and then you also are getting teleport from teleportation station so having one more card that's very good to teleport in shield crusher viking like teleporting this in on turn six uh so they don't just use some sham rocket or whatever to remove it uh so that really justifies having the teleports in the deck uh, the thing really this deck f comes full circle i think this is going to be a lot of fun should be pretty effective let's get right into the games uh, i think just even as a pirate deck this should be pretty strong if had <laughs> I'm not running mixed up Gravedigger. I don't want to die that bad to Blockbuster, even though Blockbuster is really good against this deck anyway. Guardian. I haven't seen a lot of Guardian. It's been mostly solar. Anyway, we're going to do bets. If you think this is going to win, uh, let's go 8 out of 10 today. If you think this is going to win 8 out of 10 games, vote yes. 7 out of 10 is going to be an over here the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash. Prime up. Set the bar. A little higher again. Okay, so this is cool. Uh, keeping the environment is also very good against, um, in case it's cycle cap, you automatically have this environment too. So let's go with Headstone Carver on one, the classic old school play. I think Headstone Carver, I kind of slept on Headstone Carver for years, but um, it was sort of after the tournament I kind of realized that I think Headstone Carver Pirates is very underrated. This should be really fun. This should be a very effective and a very fun deck. Let's see what happens here. We need a leap. We need Thank a you, Kreplach. 
Skull, Skull Vikings. Vikings. Did they finally win a game? <laughs> he very blasted my one drop using a two cost card. And then, of course, this pirate, it still goes face and becomes a 3-3. Three, three. It's so good. Uh, so we actually have the luxury of just playing this here and then being able to use the teleportation station. It's probably more likely he can kill a 2-2, so I guess let's put this here. It gives us two options for the telestation. Uh, looks like he went after the 3-3. Three, three. And, okay. <laughs> now, we have an interesting decision here. I could just get the teleports, which is, you know, gaining cards. I also get a free freeze. Really, a 3-1 into this isn't even that good, though. I think I'm just going to grab the teleports while I have them. Uh, so we're blocking. Let's see what we get. Like, HE ultimate would be really good. This is fine. It just goes here. Let's see what we get. Flame Fix, really good. It deals with this lane very well. Uh, Puddle only has three cards. Barry, that will actually end up killing our Flame Face because the high voltage current in four is going to do three damage now. Since it grows whenever Barry does damage. I think we're still doing okay. I'm gonna, we have a lot of extra teleports. I'm going to burn them and just be able to have more options next turn. <laughs> Too many teleports. It's going to be something about this deck where you're going to... Teleport only hits like two different minions, so... You'll have some extra ones. Just burn them. Blow? Play not the flame phase. We can't afford to take this damage here. That's really, really unfortunate. And we're not blocking either. Oh my gosh. What the heck am I going to do here? It's going to be just trying to clear his board. Oh, this is rough. Jumping me. Can I get HG Super? Thank you. Can I get like Trapper Territory, please? That doesn't help at all. I think I'm, we have three of these teleports. I'm gonna just burn one here. Okay. I don't think we're gonna win this because the Admiral he can just play like three beans and kill us. And we're so far away from killing him. Oh, this is rough. It, the Admiral Navy Bean is really one of the weaknesses of Hugh Giganticus in general since you just don't have a way of dealing one damage. It would be really nice to be able to get like an instead and clear this. Maybe we should go for that this turn. Probably should. So I'm gonna burn both teleports here. And see if I can grab the instead. And slow this guy down. Oh my gosh. We're probably just dead before we can do anything. What's this? We might need this for the ice later. Maybe I want the swash to live here. Can we please get our instead? Please, please, please? No. <laughs> oh well, it's just huge gigantic against Admiral Navy Bean. It's okay. The stack is... It has that one bad matchup. Too bad. Why did I lower Gladdy Daddy from S to B tier? I just don't know how useful he is in, in a lot of decks, you know? It's kind of just stats. I don't really know why you'd run Gladdy Daddy Eater. Maybe it's very possible I don't understand the strengths of the card. I do want to run a deck with Gladdy Eater, like a proper um, professional deck. It could be he would be good in that, but I don't know. I don't think just running professional is good. Like, it's usually just part of something else. Uh, alright, so let's look for... Uh, it's a curve. 
It is a curve. Is this worth it? Probably is. Hmm. But I can go HG on one. And then play like all this on turn two. Instead is the 4-4, four, 4 cost four, 4 4 4 pirate. It's cool, a little cheap environment. Would it be good to, um... Would it be good to freeze something this turn? I think so. This is actually going to set up a pretty good freeze. Actually, we're just going to get a good excavator, too. Wow, I, I should just go for excavator here, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going headstone carver we excavator. Leap. Screw it. We need a leap. Let's pretend that years. the headstone carver is the threat here. Just to kind of throw him off. And we'll play Excavator. It'll have two health, so we don't play, play on Scorch. You're so annoying. So... <laughs> didn't slow him down that much. Okay. And yeah, it's only a 4-1. Damn. Thank you, CrossFit, for 79 months. You have not missed a month yet. Thank you so much. Yep, getting close to 7 years since I became a partner, which is how many times you've <laughs> subbed. I'm gonna do this plus an environment, I think. We'll see whichever one's more useful. It's gonna be... Bro! Wow, this is a two-for-one. That's crazy, bro. Wild. Oh, come on. I guess I'll just do this. And they kept saying Ice Pirate so much better. This is okay. <laughs> what the hell? I'll keep this because we gotta play around his uh, other environment. Will be a cheap answer. Contesta. Little face damage. I think freezing the cucumber since he's low on cards to play. We'll be able to use this environment on it next turn. Uh, we could just instead here and buff the Yeti like crazy. Instead environment? It's kind of like next turn. You usually want to teleport this in anyway. Let's see what else we get here. I think this and possibly both it, both of these environments is true. He commits. Hammer. Uh, so we'll just use the one to stifle the... We'll save this one, obviously. I'd love to get a teleport. Be able to get this roll in here. So he used his ultimate already, so he can't kill the 5-3 with that. There is Scorch Heal. Or Holoflora. I guess Holoflora he would use. Let's just say he has either Scorch or Heal. Uh, is this good enough to upgrade it? It's kind of nice having more threats, but this just becomes so much bigger. I think we're not going to do it yet. We'll upgrade like the next one. We'll just play this in the water. It's another pretty big 4-4 four, four threat. It's not worth really reducing this. Bruh, do not. And he's just trying to protect his face, but we have a laser base alpha for that. Dude, okay, well, we're still going face for four, so it's three, four, and four. This should be lethal unless he California rolls. There's a two. So far, so good. Don't roll a three. Don't roll a three. Thank you. <laughs> Every time it's a sweat. Jesus. <laughs> Probably need a sleep. Look, this is just the time of day I had to stream. I've been busy. Very busy the whole day. I've had a lot of things going on. So, yeah, 11 o'clock at night is when I had time. <laughs> if you don't like it, watch it as a YouTube video. We don't need this early. It's like a late game. Look, it looks good. 
It looks really good. We'll definitely do headstone carver. Doesn't really matter where. Okay. Spams mushrooms. For some reason. Looks like it's gonna be icy in two. I don't know about the ice pirate, man. I think we're losing something by not ha I'd rather have a 3-4 than a 4-2, you know? It's just too easy to die. I guess we are playing against, like, a Bloom Heroes, then. I don't know. Oh. Should I eat my words? And I want to play this now, later. <laughs> I just said I want the... The three four, but we don't have the block meter to steal. If we if we had block meter to steal, I would definitely go for this. We're just gonna go fist. It also has four damage strike through on turn three, so that's awesome. Wait, Fry, do you have another job besides for this? No. Uh, but today, <laughs> um, I I just had a lot of personal and family responsibilities. I also made a video. I just updated the Patreon list, which I haven't done in a while. Just have a lot of a, a lot of stuff going on. I think the I think this we need is a leap. We need a leap. Thank you, Ra Gracious. Welcome to the Primal. Thank you so much. Hammer's a two drop. It means he doesn't have hammer for the much more important card, Flame Face. So that's awesome. This is just pinging our block meter. I don't get why he more spawns. Kind of useless. Pogo will probably be better later. I think we're just gonna... We're just gonna go like... We might get our station and be able to buff the imp here too. I feel like freeze I'll keep, but the... Because it gets more value when you actually freeze something with it. Oh, yeah, we automatically block. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep that. There's no point in giving one extra damage here. Teleportation station I obviously would use. When is he going to commit a card? On turn 5? Like, this is a turn to do this. I can always freeze, though, on the ground. I'm just going to do this and freeze. If he plays, you know, Astrocado or whatever. Banana Bomb. We do kill Banana Bomb. Sometimes. Like, Weed Whacker Scorch would prevent this from happening. It's a really awkward that we're proccing his block this turn. Because if he gets Scorched, this will go about, back down. So if we play this environment here, this will have three attack. And not only be Strike Through. But if he Scorches, it's still damage to phase. If he Weed Wax, he'll definitely do this to save it. We have another environment in hand. Alright. And if he does get his Solar Flare ultimate, then this dies. So it's one in three of this dying. Otherwise, Weed Wax gets forced onto this one drop. And then Scorch is just the worst case scenario here. Can you get your ultimate? Please? Scorch, worst case. <laughs> so we just have no tempo now since we don't have a swashbuckler to be buffing these pirates hitting face. I wish I could play this. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just... There's nothing to freeze. I'm just gonna play this as a 4-4. Four -four. Banana! The banana bomb doesn't actually kill this because it still has three health, so I guess that's okay. Is there a budget in Morticia that isn't a science deck? Even science in Morticia, like, I, I think Morticia is a very expensive hero to make a decks with. The first deck that comes to mind is all the teleport late game cards. Gosh. Maybe I should have held out for laser base. It also answers our question which turn is he gonna actually develop something? We're actually getting him down to 4 health here, which is pretty awesome. We're gonna get him down to... ...to 6 health here. Ooh, Crow Yeti's not bad. I think I'll do that. 
Obviously, Solar Flare doesn't have any environments. If you would heal this for one, that would be sad. Banana bow. And... Didn't even kill Flameface. We make this good trade. Valiant. I think it's not- well, Viking Environment is available. Pretty damn good. Alright, let's do it. We're committing to the environment. This taking one damage doesn't matter. It also kind of debates Colonel Corn because he thinks this will die. If he Colonel Corns, we win. I think even if he Astro Veras, he'll have 14, but we're doing like... We need a leap. What are we, we doing? No, we're doing 14. <laughs> Toilet. <laughs> this is strike through, by the way, if he doesn't kill the flame face. Thank you, Purple Dingo, for 20 months. Long. I just realized that's the same sound effect as chimes from uh, Legends of Runeta. That's crazy. Oh, look at this guy's play! Look at the play! He's dead. Chong. It's just a, it's just a gong. All right. Oh yeah, we didn't play around Cuke. My bad. Yeah, right. So, we're definitely going to mulligan for some early game. Are these teleports just brick? Oh my gosh. This was not a good starting hand until we got this. Could you please not play Forget Me Nuts? <laughs> Look at the worst starting suit, the worst ultimate ability in the game versus the best. I mean, look at the difference, guys. It's so good. Oh, wow. That's not bad either. I'm just trying to think, like... Which, he'll think the one on the that side is the, oh, I could have actually gotten a freeze. Whoops, if I was smart, I would have done that. All right, let's just set these up. Like here. Uh, he can really kill one of them. Oh, he gravestones, that's okay. See, I have two very good things going on here. Like, I feel like playing this here is better because we can just scoop it. We don't really need the freeze. I don't need the freeze at all. We need this swashbuckler not to die, and it's going to be growing insane right now. I think we'll just commit both of these because this is three damage, I guess. We also could, like, play this, play the, replay the Trapper, and then play the Pine. Nah, no, it's not right. Let's just go. Hopefully, we only have a few cards that cost five, so hopefully we'll get something playable here. See, now he plays his card, which, by the way, loses its buff after it gets popped into his hand, so completely debated him there. Desperately wanted to get rid of the swashbuckler, even though what I even traded anyway. So these hit face. We got a 4-2. It's time to play what turn it is. What turn is it? This was turn three, guys. <laughs> Look at the stats. This is ridiculous to have these stats, and then he gets also ineffectual. Give this man something that can remove one of these minions. No, he gets light speed ugly. Terrible card. Uh, okay, it's very tempting to save this for after, but we have a couple more in the deck, and we gotta do something this turn, you know? Playing a 4-4 four, four in the water with all these threats on the board. He's gonna spend his entire time... We're still doing 12. We still win. <laughs> turn 4 lethal? Dial it up! Yep, got him. <laughs> Get right! Man, when you start with HG Super in this, in this deck, man... 
I don't know who can beat that. He even grave busted one of our swashbucklers. Didn't matter. Grave busted a one drop. Yeah, man. BC, they need to. BC superpower has to summon the card. It'll make up for the light speed. I believe the other two guys' superpowers are actually not bad. They're actually like, they're okay. They're above average. But um, yeah, man, her ultimate is so flawed. Ultimate's supposed to be a three cost card. It costs three to get a three cost card. It's supposed to playing cost one to get a three cost card. It's ridiculous. I've been through this though. We need a headstone carver. Maybe we'll just get HG super again. See, this works as a one also. Let's see. Against Guardian, I might just play the Swash on Heights. We like it to be on the right. It just dies too badly, the Spike Weed Sector. Yeah, it's going on Heights. Should I play this one and pretend it's going to be a... Uh, Maybe this really is better. We'll make him play the Tricare. Should we debate the Triceratops? Yeah. We'll play these on turns three and four. I like it when it starts as a three three anyway. Yes! Even baiting Grave Buster is fine. Oh. Oh. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. I think we still play around um Spike Weed Sector. Ah, <laughs> wrong one, buddy! Wow, this is a 4-4 four, four he could have killed. Instead, he goes for the 1-drop. I mean, killing this is not a bad idea, but just comparing these two, man. That's insane. Oh, this is so good. So, this definitely goes here now. Let's play this one first. It's slight mind games to play that one first. Uh, little buddy blockbuster would suck. This is fine because we're still draining. This will be a three four. This will be a three three. That's incredible value for turn four. And this guy, this this guy over here, he played <laughs> water chestnut, which dies by the. Oh, sorry, it's not a three four. It's a four five and a four four. Oh my gosh, that's like playing two very good four drops on turn four. Ridiculous. I think I teleport this in anyway. There's no world which we actually want to freeze, but we want to burn the teleport and always better to surprise him with in case he has Doom Shroom. Oh my God. This motherfucker, man. <laughs> Come on, man! <laughs> I'm glad we didn't spam this. Jesus! It's a 4-4. Four, four. It's gonna get him down to 8. There is all of our tempo, man. That's so stupid. I think we like want four damage more than we want tempo. I don't really know. Belpore <laughs> Viking would have been really good this turn. Why is he? I don't get the logic, but. Should I save this teleport? Nah. Most of the cards, again, can't be teleported now. I'd rather have two cards next turn. We gotta start pushing for a lethal here. You got the one with more damage, though. But now this goes up to 5-5. Five, five. Swashbuckler being so impactful. Come on, guys, what's better? Swashbuckler or Ice Pirate? Can we, can we leave this debate? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. David L. Ross with the Generous City. I'm sorry I missed you when you were in Toronto. I was having a crazy weekend. Really appreciate it, Mr. David L. Ross. My good friend. Got that Generous City. Do you have steam? Yeah. We need a leap. Who doesn't have steam? 
Bruh. Am I gonna have to bounce this water chestnut back? Okay, I'm bouncing the walnut. We should be able to get four damage here. Look how good Pogo is. Now, please don't Calicornia roll me. Please! Please! Come on, come on, block meter. Yes! That's how it's done. That Doom Shimmer though. We need a leap! We need a leap! Oh man. We need a leap! We need a leap! Pretty good. Let me be instead early. Don't need teleport either. Should I keep this though? I think it'll be good regardless. Uh, about we lanes. A, a little lane. weird, but you put this here. You, you don't want, like, California roll, headstone, headstone, swash. So you want two lanes to put it in. You can't develop anything in lane three. It's just part of the green shadow thing. We but we can we put this in two. It still has the pirate on the left. Again, I'm always, like, trying to put swashbuckler more to the right so it buffs pirates before it dies during the attack phase. Yeah. We need a leap! We need a leap! So we'll go for this again. Uh, question is, what lane should I play this in? I think this getting supered right now is okay, because then we'll not have to play around it anymore. Wow, he got a magic beanstalk real early. Super annoying. That's huge. He does super it, even though he he's winning the trade. It's very so imagine he put the magic beanstalk where it should have gone in front of this gravestone. We would be in such major doo doo. Uh, I'd love to block this four damage, please. Pretty please. God damn it. So we'll be down to ten now. Oh my gosh, please get the headstone carver. Please! I need a break! We need a break! Okay, there you go. There you go. Now we can win. How do we play this now? 1-1-2, one, one, I guess? This is insane. I mean, we have to kill this. I mean, these are both 3-3s, three though. Oh, this will actually... Okay, we'll do it like this. There you go, three gravestones. Because that will grow up to four. The one in lane one will live. The other one dies. Alright, this was pretty good. You don't really have an environment for this anymore, but that's okay. Goes up to four. Uh, we'll save the teleport. Maybe taking the two damage is worth it. We kind of really killed uh, all of his threats here. It still has this guy. 3-2. It's kind of annoying that the one that lives can't get laser-based here, either. I think we're gonna need more value from you, so I think I'm gonna laser here, and maybe set this environment up and play this next turn. See what happens. Oh, man. I, I kind of need to burn this teleport. Luckily, he's committing an environment here. I think this is okay. And I don't want to take four damage to burn the teleport. And both of these guys, Sporticus, are dying. Well, that's awesome. We do have six health left. Uh, so we can automatically get this. It, the extra brains, since we're burning the teleport this turn, might end up, you know, resulting in playing it instead. Or at least setting up a gravestone for next turn. Dude, could you stop? <laughs> it's so annoying. Ah, uh, okay, we can still block this. So it's not just burning, but it's preventing him from drawing a card. Also, little damage. This is so weird. 
Like, what do I do here now? We have to deal with the Lima eventually. So let's just instead dry next turn. It's a block. Uh, this will go here, because gaining uh, hey, teleports great content, I see. definitely helped us Any in this card on giving Marvel okay. snap another try? So it's going to be this Gravestone. And we'll just we'll just play dry instead. Pretty good. Did I go here so we don't lose the game? Kind of have to, because you can set up like a Bananasaurus in one. It is freeze this still. Uh, it also will like go strike through from the flame face. And we have a bounce. I just really, yes. Get wrecked. So there's the winter melon gone. This goes up to five two. This will go up to three five. Holy crap, we still have to play around that winter melon though. Let's proc the block. That's what we want to see. So he has uh Hughes Blow, so he's got Invigin, which this got frozen. Thankfully. Still have a teleport here. Four and three to face wins. He'll probably set it up here. Yes! Pogo is the ex exact thing we need to answer that Winter Melon. He's gonna play it again. He'll play it in three. He thinks it's just gonna be another pirate. Oh, I think the Pogo is gonna put him away. This is so good. That's it, guys. Oh. Hell yeah. I guess there's nothing we can really play here. But we'll definitely set this up. Get more teleports. Just in case he blocks somehow? No, we got him. We got him. that was a really that was a really, really hard game. Jeez. Other than the Admiral Navy beam that just burned us down. That was definitely the closest match so far. Yes! You wanna donate games on Steam for me to post on Fry Mall? Give me a little bit of time. I'm gonna probably get back into the variety. I just I've had too much um <laughs> As you can see from the fact I'm streaming so late at night, I'm having a hard time keeping up with my schedule. I just have a lot of personal responsibilities and stuff. I got kids. Kids take a lot of time. This is pretty good. Is this the same green shadow? I'm just gonna make sure it's not the same guy sniping me again. His name was Kaysong. Yeah, it is the same guy. Even though we whooped him, you don't get the rematch, man. Yeah, five and one, we're kicking some butt here. Snap is a great card game. Marvel Snap. I couldn't get into it. Uh, looks good. Decent hand. Hello. Yeah, I'm 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 really not so happy with these. I should probably take them out. I think I'm gonna go to like one copy of this. Yeah, we haven't had an I don't think we've gotten one freeze from this yet. <laughs> I guess it's good here because of the uh, flame phase will make it be four strike through next turn, which is ridiculous. We need a leap! Dude! We need a Hey Fry, just got back into We're PvP actually because Heroes of Headstone recently. Carver. Glad to see you're still We're actually keeping up with the Click B spam. It's easy even trade. Even though a 3 4 would have lived there. I gotta switch that up. This is a 3 5, so unless he has yet another Click P, we do win this trade. And again, slowing him down in this deck is a good idea because. Uh, we do have plenty of late game. Like, usually in Pirate decks, you gotta. Maybe be more greedy than putting flame face. It's only gonna have two health. The dice to rumble here, but we can we can bring it back. Still might be rumble. For all we know, this is awkward. <laughs> Do I teleport this in? You don't have a way of dealing with the 3-5 here. Teleporting this in stalls it extra. Alright. We'll burn the teleport here.
And we can play the Yeti to deal with this next turn. Could you not, like, play Holofloor right now, please? Oh, no. Alright, stalling is probably not the priority. This probably is. Yeah. Let's build Black Cave here. That's true. Carver is still getting the value. I feel like the Yeti wants to be on the ground, but it does actually do 6 this turn because of Headstone Carver. They can always just freeze this lane. It's better for this to be on the ground. We, we have to use this as the finisher here. Could this not be the turn you use your Grave Buster, please? It's okay. There's a rumble. Jesus. Oh my god. That hurts. Bro! I can't win! Oh my god, that play was busted! Oh, we're so done. He used my environment too, it feels bad. But we lose that. Holy crap! Alright, five and two. God damn. That was harsh. Grass Knuckles, such a strong hero. Time to shine though, man. <laughs> <laughs> that card bust. Oh, I forgot to edit out the ice players. We're getting these pretty solid starting hands, though. Looking really good. Um. We haven't really gotten that good instead yet. We gotta do it. Aha! You couldn't deal with Headstone Carver. <laughs> no, it doesn't count. Oh, okay, it does give me an opportunity. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think the, the Freeze Pirate, man. Let's just go with more of these. We'll still keep in one. And I'm not even updating the deck list. It's our secret, guys. How would they know? They're not gonna know. I yeah, know, that guy started off with two click fees, too. We were still beating his ass. That's a curve. That, folks, that is a curve. Should I put the last ice pyre and just put a buried treasure? I don't know. Yeah, Headstone Carver definitely be... We're not going to play a trick anytime soon, so this is just a 1 cost 2 one. Very sad indeed. Ooh, love to see it. Cool thing is that if he... We play this on ground for sure, because even if he... Uh, spike Weed Sectors, we cover it next turn. Get... Lose the trade. I don't know what he thought this would be, that he would... This is a good idea, but this always loses a trade. Just go after the Headstone Carver there. I don't know, man. I guess this not... I don't know. I, f I feel like I just want to keep going face. I think the Pogo is going to just go here and trade with us, but we really want this to to get buffed. Okay. Still 3-4, drain block meter. Definitely value. Do I start doing, like, the... this thing? Like, I could ice this. I think I want to take the down. I'll do this later. I'll do this later. We'll save the ice. It'll be good with the Yeti. I could, like, ice and then play this plus ice again, then this plus ice again. There we go. That's why we want to get hit by two. Oh, now we got some place. <laughs> we can actually play the ice here, too, which is really good. So I'm going to play three and probably zero, and then we'll start doing this. All this crap. I'll look at decks at the end of the stream, yeah. There's Blockbuster. Not the worst case scenario Blockbuster, to be honest. Ooh, I don't want to bounce that back to him, though. Alright, we'll save it.
This will just be a factor. This and both environments, maybe. Then we'll play, start spamming this. Walnut, it's strike through. Oh my gosh. Guys, there's going to be a nuts play here. This is going to do so much. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought that... Oh, that's crazy. Um... The really weird thing is I have to just slow this lane down, because we can't afford to take the damage, so... We're kind of saying goodbye to this ice environment, since I'm never gonna give him these back. Actually, if we play the, um... The first one here, it'll actually kill both of these now. Yeah, that's gotta be right. Ooh, Teleport Viking looks good. Teleport Viking here looks really good. There's no Brain Anna I have to worry about. Honestly, though, 5 and 5 just wins the game. I should probably just spam both of these, right? Eh? We can give him the blockbuster back, because it doesn't matter. He can't be hurt. Uh -huh. That's it. Yay! Good news is I don't have to bounce my own environment anymore. Ugh. So many blockbusters. We have to do this thing. He'll cover this. And... I'll like teleport Viking for the win next turn, probably. And it destroys all possibilities of playing Gravestone since we know he has the blockbusters. The teleport Viking should finish him here. There's Spike Wave. Three. Either one of these minions heading for three and then lane four is open. He's going face? What is he doing? Well, that's lethal. We got the real. But hey, does the laser base win? All right, we're six and two. <laughs> I don't really know that last play. That was weird. But he didn't really have an answer for lane three, so he figured might as well go face with it, right? He didn't play around teleport. All right. Felt like a sniper with all the blasters. <laughs> You can always make excuses. Uh, looking for a two. Looking desperately for a two. We got another flame face. We're actually able to make one more mulligan. Maybe we'll just get our uh, super. You know what? We can still top deck a two, and this getting mogged right now is not the end of the world. Sunflower. We have nine... Nine twos in this deck. Can we get one? Very sad indeed. We can set this play up, but he played this. Kind of wish he played this on the ground. Bruh. We're just gonna go flame face. We'll go from there. It's no cover, so. You can play Elderberry, which I think trades well against the Flame Face, yeah. Elderberry would be kind of grosser. Wingnut. I don't really have any bonus attacks, so... Good. He'll be back at four. Uh, Pogo should be fine here. We'll always have a good target, you know? I could Headstone Carver, well... I could just headstone carver flame face. It's not terrible. But lanes though, would I go both dry? Into Pogo Freeze, maybe? 
Right. You sort of have to get value from the headstone carver earlier. If you save in your hand, it just dies. This is like, turn four is like the last turn. It's even worth playing it ever. Uh, that's a 3-3. Three, three. We win that trade. Freezes that one. So. You want to see Freeze? <laughs> Something tells me this is going to be the instead game. Let's see if we ever get a... Uh... Hold a three and blocked. Ugh. Lead wax probably the worst worst case scenario here. How do you beat Midros? Uh Pogo Pogo Mug is pretty good. Is this Midros? What to say? I think it's gonna be Pogo and Freeze. Let's play the Pogo here so I don't have to freeze this line. And then we can start bouncing things and replaying the freeze, do that whole thing. So, definitely Pogo you. Definitely freeze you, go in face. And next turn we'll have 5 damage to face and an extra freeze. Pretty damn good if he plays a card here too, it just gets you bounce. Are we seven and two now? No, we're we're six and two. This is so good. This is a po this is like two pogos. Huh? Pogo would have been better. Oh well. We need a leap. We need a leap. He's still At going. Nice. Man, he just clears our field with that. Possible though. to a Neptuna Grave Swarm deck. Do I ever have to play around three-headed chomper? <laughs> Great question. Good, so. It's so annoying. We're getting him down pretty low here, though. We should be okay. Cop cannon? Jeez. This guy's sweaty. So we'll go face for... Probably just one here. Kinda nice as cop cannon's gone. Oh, we hit with that. That was nice. Oh, teleport! Yeah, well, we can't... Well, what about dragon? Oh, this is rough. We can't actually go for teleport here. We have to do play Pogo. Pogo being the ultimate answer to Dragon, of course. Yeah, we have to do this. They also have a freeze, theoretically. I'm sure if he has the droid, he probably is running Dragon. This works, though. Alright. Now, see, block... The last power is Mog, so we should be good here. Two da Mog usually does two damage. I wonder if we burn the teleport here. I mean, we're never gonna really be able to play it unless play the the, the this this card, right? This actually sets up lethal if the Mog doesn't do enough damage. It's just Transmogrify, and he needs to get something with only one attack. Most, I think, most of the Mogs. F2, I don't know what percentage. Yes! Yes! Now we're 7 and 2. Woo! <laughs> that was close. Uh. See, if they play Cop Cannon, I don't know if you want to really pogo out the Cop Cannon. And then he just gets a free. Cop Cannon's such a busted card. Just delete Cop Cannon from the game. 3 of 8 Chomper is what Cop Cannon should be. Like, it's powerful. It can, but it can be answered. Cobb can, and he can't answer. Can't do any. I feel like we haven't had the good teleport instead game yet. This is our last chance, folks. That's pretty good. We'll just use this. Even though it doesn't really make a great turn to play, it's just gonna speed everything up here. Bucket Bay. Can I... Can I get... 
Do we just spam this? <laughs> this could have done three damage pretty easily. I don't know what this guy's problem is. It's an okay pogo. Maybe we just save the pogo for next year. Bruh. Alright, well, I'm glad I have the pogo now. Rikiratops kind of dies if it's off the board. Like, playing it on turn 4 is usually very sad. I think we're doing okay here. Teleport Viking happens on turn 5. We need a leap. And we should be able we to get his block leap. meter into pretty much a pretty good state here. Should I save the pogo for after that, though? Probably. Do we just play this here? <laughs> I don't know. You know what? Let's just slow it down a little bit. We can play Konza. That's so annoying, I should have played Pogo. <laughs> God damn it. I can't really do the teleport viking play, this is doing too much damage. No real point. Just the gamer that we play? GG. See what happens here. We'll go for the Teleport Viking, I guess, next turn. Bro, stop! Oh. What am I gonna do here? Do we want to take six or like four and have this bigger beast on the board? I think us taking 3-3 three, three and probably blocking. I think us blocking right now is going to go a long way. Oh my gosh, we didn't block. <laughs> and he did. He rolled double 3. We rolled like double 1s, and he rolled double 3s. This is exactly what happened there. Come on, man. I need to get my Viking in, but I don't know how. Oh, man. I, I'm going to have to teleport Viking defensively here is basically what I'm going to have to do. This is crazy. This is nutso, guys. Well, Teleport Viking Bucket Bay actually makes the Viking live. So that's awesome. There he's proccing the block. Do this later. Could you not have anything else that does damage? <laughs> what am I gonna. I mean, he's just replaying this. We just lose! I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Well, two and six. No, we just lose. He rolled all one. He rolled four ones in a row. I hope we only blocked once this game. At least with B Rex, such a strong card. At least he charges your block meter twice. There's nothing we can do to survive, right? Three, teleport one. There, here's our play we were gonna do. Isn't it beautiful? Such beautiful play. That's so dumb. Alright, I'm gonna play one more game. We the answer is no, but we're gonna need a palette cleanser after that dirty grass knuckles. That's so stupid. Do we really roll all once? That's great. Man. Oof. The answer is no. Maybe this will be... We 
need a stronger start than this. Ugh. I think like guy is probably the best thing we can get. Could you not start strong? Thank you. Uh, I think we're gonna do a fake Jibate swashbuckler. I'm so stupid. It's okay. This is a fine play. Hopefully, Seedling doesn't do anything too crazy. This is fine. We'll just leave that on the board and play this here. Get a freeze one way or another. Ah, uh, another seed link. Dude. Oh, headstone in four, teleport, get a gravestone to block B-Rex. Ah, you're right. We could have survived there. You are right. We could have won the end of the last goal. We could have won. But we would have survived one more turn. <laughs> Uh, is that even a good seedling? Alask. I think I'm gonna pogo it next turn. I don't really know what to do here. I think we just go face. Yeah, we'll just pogo it next turn. It's not like that. No more seedlings for you. Yeah, it's like much worse Lima player now. But he's a mushroom. He belongs to the mushroom tribe. Such upside. A little bugger this thing. And maybe freeze finally? If he plays a card that's not a seedling. Is he just running all seedlings? Maybe it's a hack deck and he just has seedlings. And photosynthesizing. <laughs> and he can't play them because they just die. <coughs> Very blessed. Very blessed. This guy's boring. He's not doing anything. Okay, that's it. This is the game we freeze the guy. We, we gotta get some. We gotta get some of this. Some of this action. Now we're getting our teleports. Look at the insane instead value. What do we do now? Okay, we're gonna do one more turn of doing a semi-normal play. And then we are gonna start teleporting instead for the rest of the game. Oh, Melon Pulse, nice. From Photosynthesize, look at this guy. This Giga Chat over here. Goodbye, buffed melon. No one cares. He's gonna replay that next turn and we're gonna freeze it. That is the objective here. Guys, look at this massive free freeze play incoming. It's gonna be huge. It's teleport instead, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> so bad. No! <laughs> Don't kill my Pogo! <laughs> we have to do the whole point of the stream. Teleport instead. We finally did it. We're gonna roll a one. <laughs> what a boring game! <laughs> boring game! Okay, one more. It's 12.09. It's 12 in the morning. I don't care. One more. That was too boring. That was worse than the one where we got killed by the Bananasaurus Rex. Way worse. That was just boring AF. Uh, the answer is no. Wow, so many people voted no? 57% voted no. Why did you guys all vote no today? I mean, you were right, but how could you? <laughs> All right, we're just gonna get HG Super. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. Please put to sleep HG. You don't like here Giganticus? He Giganticus best hero. Does he have Juggernaut? No, he has Seedling. Is this the same guy? Wait, it's the same guy! It's the same guy with the fucking Seedlings! I'm losing my mind, should I play this out? No, I don't want to play this, it is the same guy. We literally just played this guy, right? No, he's too boring! Oh, he got fixed. Okay, something interesting happens, alright. I guess we can play this game out, right? That's actually crazy, but we're just gonna bounce it. Oh, he's getting fig value. Look at this guy. <laughs> Bro, it's not a good play. It's not a good play. Alright, something crazy is about to happen. I can sense it. Why would you not go after my swashbuckler growing, man? That's the insane thing. Survey says... <laughs> Something insane is gonna happen. Yeah, this guy's gonna throw. That's the insane thing that's gonna happen. This is just block meter charge. Wait, he's running fig? What the hell? He's running fig? Okay, well, fig's gonna transform. Okay. This is not competitive, though. This isn't fun. <laughs> Yay. I hope he gets some wild cut. Get, get great zucchini right now. Care cornucopia. <laughs> no. <laughs> God damn it. Well, he got the fig. The man got the fig. He's so lame. He's so lame. We're just gonna win and he's gonna play Fig and we're gonna bounce it. It's so fun. <laughs> I don't care. If I play this, I win, but what fun would that be here? I'll BM him, like. <laughs> just to show him we had lethal. There, Miracle Fig, let's go. Something good happened. Oh, look, he, oh, it's a miracle. No, he went to, oh, it, well, he didn't choose. Wait. Oh, it transforms twice. Oh my god. We almost lost this game. What the hell? This guy's gonna beat us. Because <laughs> we're throwing. <laughs> Don't get something but good. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. You can do this and teleport the Viking in store. In case he grave busts us. <sighs> he must rely on Fig for, for the victory. <laughs> Fig has to be a, an absolute miracle. He has to get it in lane one, too, because we win in the other lane. It's got to be a Fig miracle for him to survive. Can he pull it off? He's going to have to remove a 2-2 two -two somehow. No! No freaking way! Wait, but it dies. But the laser basic still kills it, and we proc the block. But he already used bubble. His last power is rain, I think. Oh, meteor. Oh. Okay. <laughs> he survived an extra lane. That was actually pretty impressive. Alright, guys. So we're 9 and 3. Alright. I guess that was a good one to end it on. That was a fun stream. I think this deck's doing is pretty good. We didn't really get all the awesome instead plays. Uh, we weren't really forced into situations enough to need to do the instead because pirates are just really good. 9 and 3, though. This is the season just reset today, so this was ultimately gameplay, essentially. Big is a lily pen. Alright guys, that is going to be all for now. <laughs> Play 12 games. That is going to be all for now. Hope you guys enjoy it. I guess I'll go on YouTube. It's a decent pirate deck. Uh, pretty fun stream. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, this is Fry.